first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends before getting into the video of target android series so i just want to say two quick information so the first is the test series so do not forget each and every student those who are preparing for the bank exams any bank exam do not forget to purchase the test series on my website or my mobile application it is only 99 rupees you can able to write all the test series which is inside the package do not forget to buy it immediately because anytime the price might be increased now it is only 99 do not forget to buy the test series the first thing and the second where you can able to get the complete videos of feel free to learn what I posted on my YouTube channel in an offline mode. We copy all the videos and give it to you in the form of pen drive. So you can able to watch all my videos in an offline mode. Do not forget to WhatsApp us. Our team will tell you the details. So friends, at last, this is one of the most important series video that is Target 100 definitely those who are preparing for the bank exams it can be any it can be rrb clerk rrb po it can be any bank exam do not forget to watch all the videos of target 100 so now starting from the first video and uh, just play the video right just play the video take a note and simul simultaneously you two try to solve the question within one hour or within two hours you can solve 100 question a perfect revision video do not forget to watch all my target 100 series those who are preparing for the bank exams and test series and videos never forget it so now let me get into the video of target 100 so friends now let me move on to the first video on this target 100 series on the topic simplification so here in this video we will be solving 100 question on three different levels some question will be easy and medium and hard so do not forget to practice all these 100 question before going for any bank exams this year right so and the most important thing i have told in the initial stage of the video do not forget to purchase the test package 2023 right so now let me move on to the first question so square root of question mark square into 10 square right we can solve little bit fastly so here you can directly cancel this 2 and square root so similarly 2 and square root because here we have multiplication so we can directly cancel the square root so the remaining term will be question mark into 10 is equals to 5 square into 2 square so 1 5 into 2 will be 10 so we can cancel 1 1 so directly 10 here so question mark is equals to 10 so answer for first question where question mark is equal to 10 so simultaneously you two try to solve the question by watching the video so that you two can also improve your speed right so second question right so 56 division 14 into 4 minus 316 question mark so what we can do here is first we can divide so this becomes 4 times right so 4 so 4 into 4 will be 16 so 16 minus 316 so plus question mark square is equals to 100 here so 316 this, this will be 300 so minus 300 when it goes towards right hand side plus 300 so 300 plus 100 will be 400 so question mark square is equal to 400 so question mark is equals to 20 right square root of 400 will be 20 so answer for yes second question is 20 so next question 2 1 by 2 percentage so what we can do is 2 2s are 4 so 4 plus 1 will be 5 so 5 by 2 multiplication of 7 3s are 21 22 so 22 divided by 3 into 1 divided by 100 into 870 is equals to 0 question mark right so here we can cancel 0 and 0 here so we can cancel 2 times this becomes 11 times so 1 5 are 5 2 5 are 10 so the remaining term will be 11 divided by 6 into 87 is equal to question mark so i think we will get the answer only in the decimal point why because 87 which which cannot be divided by 6 so we can do one thing this becomes 1 6 are 6 so remaining will be 2 6 4 are 24 so remaining will be 30 so 14.5 so 14.5 into 11 is equals to question mark so 14.5 uh, what we can do is 110 so this will be 44 so 0.5 so will be 5.5 5. so 5951 so answer will be 
159.5 so understood right so here i have used a small shortcut on multiplication right so 14.5 into 11 this area so this area alone i have used a small shortcut so students you can do like this also 145 into 11 similarly you will get the answer no issues but here what i did is this 14.5 i split it into three parts so 100 that is uh, first 14.5 i have taken as 10 4.5 so 10 into 11 will be 110 understood so 4 into 11 will be 44 so 0.5 into 11 will be half of the number that is 11 5.5 so finally i have added 159.5 so I, I will not recommend every student have to proceed in this way it is your wish you can directly multiply like this 145 into 11 you will get 159.5 it's either way but make sure to solve the question fastly right so answer I will check once again answer for question number 3 159.5 so next question 500 plus 4 into question mark is equal to 48 division 0 0.2 the whole square so what i can do is this becomes 500 right so 4 into question mark can be taken as 4 x square is equals to 48 into so this 0 0.2 can be written as 2 by 10 so 2 by 10 the whole square so this becomes 100 divided by 4 so cancel it 1 4s are 4, 2 4s are 8 which is 12. So 4 x square is equals to 1200 minus 500. Right. So 4 x square. So this becomes 200 here. 700. So x square is equal to 700 divided by 4. So 1 times 7 times 5 times which is 175. So x is equal to square root of 175. Right. So this 175 can be written as uh, 25 into 7 because 25 into 7 will be 125 so we can take square root of 25 as 5 root 7 so answer is equal to x is equal to 5 root 7 so this is the maximum thing i can reduce from this 175 based upon the options right so option a if, if there is an option like 5 root 7 you can go with it or else if you have an option directly as square root of 175 you can uh, stop here itself got it so here this this area is alone important you should not make much time to solve this part alone why because 48 division in order to convert into multiplication reciprocal of the number right so what i did is 0 0.2 i have taken as 2 by 10 and reciprocal of the number will be 10 by 2 now you have to square the number so 10 square will be 100 so 2 square will be 4 so here i have written as 100 by 4 so friends understood or not so this is the important area where you can reduce your time right so answer for question number four it is yes five root seven is your answer so next question is three by five four by seven so everything is in the terms of off we can directly cancel here itself right so what i can do is we can cancel five and five directly here so one three is a three so three three is a nine and we can cancel 1 3 is a 3 7 3 is a 21 so we can cancel 7 and 7 here so similarly 6 4 is a 24 so 1 4 is a 4 6 4 is a 24 so finally we got 5 not 4 divided by 6 is equals to question mark so 8 6 are 40 84 right 6 4 is a 24 so 84 will be the answer so question mark is equals to 84 so not the big deal easy questions right so here in most of the situations uh, by just seeing the computer itself try to cancel all these numbers so next question i will check once again whether the answer is correct yes 84 is the answer so next question is 625 so square root of 625 will be 25 here so this becomes 42 into 2 square 2 square is 4 so 4 into 2 will be 8 right so 4 into 4 will be 16 168 minus 25 minus 132 is equals to 143 divided by question mark so 168 5 plus 2 will be 7 3 plus 2 will be 5 so 157 143 divided by question mark so 157 here so 11 so 11 x is equals to 143 so we can cancel it 111s are 11 so remaining will be 333 3 times so x is equals to 30 
so that's it easy question but but remember one thing you should know how to find that square root values cube root values at least by r till 20 square and 20 cube right so that will be the easiest way to crack these kinds of numbers in some value you can able to see 6 2 5 5 some some other some numbers based on square root and cube root so there mostly if you buy it up to 20 cube and 20 square so finding most of the square roots will be easy got it so answer for question number six is 13 yes correct so question number seven so don't make this mistake i've seen many students do this they just cancel square and square root don't do that because here we have addition here we have addition and for this number 10 we don't have squares right only on the first question we have two square roots sorry two squares so that we can cancel it but here we have addition as well as one number which does not contain square so you should not cancel this two one square root that is wrong actually right so seven square is 49 so 49 into 6 plus 15 square will be 225 plus 10 so this will be 235 so now 9 6 are 54 balance will be 5 294 right so 294 9 12 1 5 29 which is 23 so 23 23 will be 5 29 because 25 6 25 yes 5 29 will be 23 understood right so don't make this mistake i will highlight here because I've seen most of the students do this, right? So what they usually do is by seeing this number seven square into six, they cancel two one square root. So don't do that, it is uh, wrong, right? Only on the first question we can do like that. Just see the first question, I will show you the first question. Yes, just see here, the first question, here we have question mark square and 10 square and here we have multiplication. So what we can do is we can take two as common and then we can cancel two and a square root. But in this scenario, you should not do that. Right? In this scenario, you should not do that. Why? Because we have addition here, two addition here. So that is actually wrong. Right? So answer for question number seven is 23. So question number eight. So 2 power, you can able to see our target is to find what is 6 power question mark. So you have to convert all the left hand side part into 6 power something. So uh, 6, 6 are 36, 36 into 6 will be 216. So this 216 can be written as 6 power 3. So power 4 division. So this 36 will be 6 square power 4 into 6 power 5 is equals to 6 power question mark so this will be 12 so 6 power 12 division 6 power 8 into 6 power 5 is equals to 6 power question mark so a power m division a power n you have to subtract so 12 minus 8 will be 4 so 6 power 4 into 6 power 5 is equals to 6 power question mark so a power m into a power n will be a power m plus n so 4 plus 5 will be 9 so 6 power 9 is equal to 6 power question mark so question mark is equals to 9 <coughs> so answer for question number 8 will be 9 so i can check once again yes answer will be question mark is equals to 9 Get? so easy if you keep on practicing in this way solving a question will be very easy so 2 power question mark into square root of 576 is equal to 540. So you know right. So 576. So 576 will be uh, 24. So 24 square root 24 into 24 will be 576. So this can be written as 2 power question mark into 24 is equals to you need to divide here. 1 3 is 3. 6 8 3 is 24 180. So 180 minus 84. So 2 power question mark is equals to, so this becomes 96 divided by 24. So this will be 4 times. So 2 power question mark is equals to 4. So this 4 can be written as 2 square. So now question mark is equals to 2. It's an answer for this question where question mark is equals to 2. So easy. So uh, 576, 625. And that's what I have said, right? Up to 20 square or uh, 30 square. If you know the values, then solving most of the question will be easy. So answer will be 2. Right. So next question. So 864, 2 power question mark. So 864, we can take it as 864 here. 
so converting division into multiplication so this 45 0.45 can be written as uh, 45 by 100 so when you convert the uh, division into multiplication so denominator will goes to the numerator so 100 divided by 45 into 2 power question mark is equals to 240 so we can cancel 0 and 0 here so 5 table this becomes 9 phi is of 45 so this becomes 2 so again we can cancel this 1 2 is 2 12 2 is 24 so finally uh, we can I think we can cancel this on 12 table 12 Uh, let, let me do one thing we can cancel this one one times we can try to cancel this number so six seven twos are 14 184 right 84 so remaining will be 224 12 twos are 24 so cancel it eight times so we can say that so two power question mark so two power question mark is equals to eight so 2 power question mark is equal to 2 power 3. So 8 can be written as 2 power 3. So question mark is equal to 3. So just the answer for the question, right? So that's it, right? In most of the situations, so always uh, do not keep the division as it is because some students will make a mistake on division. So what you need to do is convert division into multiplication. So this division can be converted into multiplication by reciprocal of this number. So this 0 0.45 I have taken as 45 by 100. So while converting into multiplication 100 goes to the numerator 45 comes to the denominator. So that's what I did here and then after cancellation the so answer will be question mark is equals to 3. So next question 2 square root of 2 3 cube square root of just target only the value which has square root so here you have square root of 2 square root of 2 so now what you need to do is 7 into 2 will be 14 square root of 2 into square root of 2 will be 2 so 14 into 2 got it so now target square root of 3 so square root of 3 and square root of 3 which is 3 so 4 into 3 will be 12 so 12 into 3 is equals to question mark understood or not right square root of 2 into square root of 2 will be 2 so similarly same number square square root of 3 into square root of 3 will be 3 so what i did is first i target this number and this number and then after finding it next to two numbers so these two numbers so now what this becomes 14 so 14 12 into 3 into 2 will be 6 so 6 twos are 12 1 72 into 14 so 4 twos are 8 0 10 so 1008 zero, zero, so which is the answer for the question right so uh, these kind of uh, questions that is based on square root you need to be a little bit careful right so only if it has the same number you can multiply it square root of 3 into square root of 3 will be 3 got it so answer for question number 11 will be 1008 yes so next question 40 percentage of 3 by 5 so I think a uh, better way we can write this 40 percentage as 40 by 100 into 3 by 5 so plus 30 by 100 into 2 by 5 for easy cancellation right so question mark is equals to 1 we can cancel 0 0 here similarly we can cancel 0 0 here so this becomes 4 into 3 will be 12 so 12 by 50 so plus 3 into 2 will be 6 so 6 by 50 so plus question mark is equals to 1 so this becomes both the denominator numbers are same so we can say 50 plus 50 that is 12 plus 6 will be 18 so question mark is equals to 1 minus 18 by 50 so 50 minus a question mark is equal to 50 minus 18 will be 32 by 50 so 32 by 50 will be your answer so based upon the options right so we have to see the options whether they have given a directly as 32 by 50 or they have divided it so in case if they have divided it answer will be 0 0.6 times 30 4 times 200 so 0 0.64 so either based upon the options either it can be 32 by 50 directly or else they divide and given the option 0 0.64 so which is the answer for question number 12 so here in question number 12 is yes, they have given an option like this 32 by 50 so which is the answer for the question so next question so 1764 
so you have to find the square root no other way right what is the technique to find the square root so here 4 here so 2 2's are 4 8 8's are 64 so cancel two digit so four square 16 so either the answer will be 42 or 48 so what about 45 square so 25 2025 so 45 square is 2025 and here we have number of 1764 which is lesser than that so we can say 42 so 42 division 6 plus question mark square division 16 into 21 is equals to 196 so 6 7s are 42 so this becomes 7 so 7 plus question mark square divided by 16 into 21 is equal to 196 so we can uh, subtract these two number this becomes 189 so question mark square is equals to 189 into 16 divided by 21 so question mark square is equal to so this becomes 9 times so 9 into 16 so question mark is equal to square root of 9 into 16 so square root of 9 will be 3 square root of 16 will be 4 so answer will be 12 so answer for question mark is equals to 12 right so this is the technique in my older videos right uh, three to four years back i have taught this not four years six years back i have taught this how to find the square root of a number cube root of a number you can able to search in my youtube channel right so there i have taught you the technique how to find the square root of the number faster right so answer for question number 13 is 12. so now question number 14. so here 450 percentage of x right so what you can do is so we can cancel this percentage and one zero so the remaining will be 45 by 10 so mine into x minus of similarly so percentage you can cancel one zero here so 25 by 10 so into 200 is equals to 1300 0. so now what i can do is i can cancel it on five table nine times two times five times 2 times so 9x by 2 minus of 5 into 200 divided by 2 is equals to 1300 so now this becomes 100 here this will be 500 when we uh, bring the 500 towards right hand side it becomes plus 500 so 1300 plus 500 will be 1800 so 9x by 2 is equals to 1800 so we can cancel it 200 so x is equal to 400 so answer for the question is x is equal to 4 there are many ways to solve this question even easier you can directly cancel this percentage and 20 here that will one of the easiest way right so instead of writing all these steps right you don't want to write it you can directly cancel percentage and 20 here so 250 into 2 will be 500 so when we bring this 500 towards right hand side this becomes 1800 directly here itself so instead of writing this much of step you can directly find the answer as 1800 there are many different ways to solve a question so based upon your practice right so based upon your practice you can solve so answer for question number 14 will be 400 yes answer is 400 so next question is 25 4.8 but here we don't have so in so this number you have one decimal point one decimal point one decimal point here i think you can't able to take anything common also right so so only better way we can better multiply right so 25 into 48 8 5 is 44 20 16 4 0 right so 4 2 is 8 8 plus 4 will be 12 1200 so similarly 72 divided by 15 5 2 is 10 1 7 5 is 35 37 38 3 so 10 1 0 8 0 so 12 and 14 8 6 1 so this will be 12 this will be 10 point so 12 point zero zero so plus ten point eight zero minus of sixteen right so sixteen point eight is equals to question mark so this becomes twelve twenty two twenty two point eight minus sixteen point eight 
will be 6 right so question mark is equals to 6 that's it answer will be 6 understood so uh, if if there is a decimal point so either after converting right after finding the final answer put the decimal point that will be the easy way where we cannot make any mistakes so i have seen students putting like this 2.5 4.8 don't do that right many chance of making a mistake better convert it as 25 and 48 first multiply the numbers and then finally keep the decimal point two digit and similarly 72 into 15 i have just multiplied answer is 1080 and then finally i have did the decimal point so 10.80 so similarly 1.2 into 14 168 but you have only one decimal point here so 16.8 got it so answer for question number 15 is 6 so next question 7 by 15 5 by 2 so no other way you have to take lcm here so when you take lcm as 15 so this will be 7 5 threes are 15 this will be 6 into question mark is equals to 1 by 20 so this will be 13 by 15 into x is equals to 1 by 20 so cancel it on 5 table 3 times cancel it on 5 table 4 times so now x is equals to 3 divided by 13 into 4 will be 52 answer will be 3 by 52 so answer of 16th question yes it is 3 by 52 so next question 9280 divided by 16 into 4 minus 16 so better we can uh, 9280 divided by 16 into 4 minus 16 is equals to question mark so better we can cancel it so 16 into 5 90 so remaining will be 228 that is 280 so 5 8 times 0 so 580 so 580 into 4 minus 16 is equals to question mark so next step uh, i think we can take 4 common here so 580 minus of 4 is equals to question mark so this becomes 4 into 576 is equals to question mark so 576 will be 24 and 4 will be 2 so question mark is equals to 48 so friends understood or not right what i did so everywhere you have square root square root square root here so this part alone is important right this this part that is this area so what i did is so we have 580 into 4 minus 16 is equals to question mark right so but the problem here is you have to multiply 580 into 4 so definitely the number what we are going to get will be huge so instead of doing it what i did is here we have 4 here we have 16 better take 4 outside so if you take 4 outside the remaining term will be 580 minus 4 so now 580 minus 4 will be 576 so you have to take square root so square root of 576 will be 24 so square root of 4 will be 2 so answer will be 2 into 24 which is 48 let me check yes answer for question number 7 is 48 17 is 48 that's it it understood or not right so the easy thing is you try to in case if you are getting a huge number so try to take some numbers outside as common so that you will get the answer easily got it so practice more number of question like this so that answer for question number 17 is 48 so now question number 18 so similarly you just see here uh, 4 3 5 6 so 4 3 5 6 square root of 5 6 so 6 here right? 6 6 are 36 and uh, four and a six because four fours are 16 so four and a six will be there so we can cancel two times six six are 36 either 64 or 66 what about 65 square 25 42 just see 65 square is 4225 but our target is to get 43 so definitely it will be more than 65 it will be 66 so we can say that this 4365 will be 66 into square root of question mark is equals to 11 so we can cancel six times here six zero eight four so four times two twos are four eight eights are sixty four so cancel it uh, seven sevens are forty nine so seventy five square it will be seventy eight so this will be seventy eight so question mark is equal to seventy eight divided by six 
वन सिक्स आर सिक्स थर्टीन सो क्वेश्चन मार्क इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टीन सो क्वेश्चन मार्क इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टीन स्क्वायर थर्टीन स्क्वायर विल बी वन सिक्सटी नाइन सो आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन इज वन सिक्सटी नाइन सो फ्रेंड्स अंडरस्टूड राइट सो इयर इन दिस नंबर यू हैव टू स्क्वायर रूट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर थ्री फाइव सिक्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स जीरो एट फोर so 4 3 5 6 you have to take the square root faster so the last number is 6 i have taught you how to find the square root of the number fastly so this and this if you find the two numbers fastly then solving a question is easy so next question square root of 6 plus 1 the whole square so a plus b the whole square right so this becomes a plus b the whole square will be a square so square root of 6 square a square plus b square one square will be 1 Plus two ab that is two square root of six. So question mark plus two square root of six. Here you can cancel plus two minus. So square root of six the whole square will be six. Six plus one will be seven. So question mark is equals to seven. So in my YouTube channel I have solved many question that is based upon this pattern. Right? This pattern is important. If you take bank exams you can able to see more question like this. so that square root of 6 plus 2 the whole square square root of 6 plus 3 the whole cube so these kinds of question are important so practice more so answer for question numbers 19 will be 7 so last question so 62 divided by 12 into 4 is equals to question mark so 4 3 is at 12 So answer will be 62 by 3. So question one, easy question. 62 by 3. Or else, in case if you want to write it in a mixed fraction, yes, we can do. So 20 times 60. So answer will be 22 by 3. So 22 by either based upon the options, right? Either it can be in a decimal value or it can be in the mixed fraction. Just divide 62 by 3, right? So 20 times 60. Remaining will be 2. So this can be written as 22 by 3. That's it. So this will be the answer for question number twenty. So next question. So five cube plus twelve square. So five cube will be twenty five one twenty five, right? So one twenty five. So twelve square will be one forty four. So minus of twenty six division two will be thirteen as equals to question mark square. So this will be nine six one. So one sixty nine. Sorry. 269 minus 13 is equals to question mark square. So this becomes 56. That is 256 is equals to question mark square. So 256 will be 16 square because 16 square will be 256. So we can say that question mark is equals to 16. Right. So this will be the answer for question number 21. Yes, answer for 21 is 16. So next question is 2 2 by 3. Into six three by four three into two will be six six plus two will be eight so eight by three into six four is twenty four so twenty four plus three will be twenty seven divided by four so plus question mark is equals to three cube so three cube will be three into three into three nine nine three is twenty seven so now we can cancel it so this becomes nine so this becomes two times eighteen so question mark is equals to twenty seven minus eighteen So twenty seven minus eighteen will be eleven. Easy questions, right? So we can say question mark is equals to eleven. So next question, let me check the answer for that question. So yes, question mark is equals to sorry nine. Sorry, sorry eight. Twenty seven minus eighteen is nine, right? I'm sorry. So twenty seven minus eighteen is nine. So answer for this is nine. So next question is twenty three. So all are in a mixed fraction. So instead of multiplying all the numbers, let me take all the integers separately and then fraction part separately, so that the solving method will be easy. Just see here. So three will be integer. So plus four will be integer. So minus two and minus one. So the remaining fractions are one by six, one by two, minus of two by three. Minus of eleven by twelve. In many of my videos, I have told this, right? In case if you feel the question is the mixed fraction numbers are huge, separate the numbers. So separate all the integer parts, right? And then separate all the fraction part. Finally, you can join them, right? So now see, four plus three will be seven. So seven minus three will be four. So this term will be four. So now here you can take LCM as twelve. So six into two will be twelve. So six here minus of four into three will be twelve. That is minus eight. So minus eleven is equals to question mark. So four plus 
So 6 plus 2 will be 8. So we can cancel 8 here. So minus 11 by 12 is equals to question mark. So this can be written as 448 minus of 11 divided by 12 is equals to question mark. So 48 minus 11 will be 37. So 37 divided by 12 equal to question mark. So uh, look at the options right based upon the options we can split it or else you can say this can be uh, converted into mixed fraction if you convert into a mixed fraction so 3 1 by 12 yes or no because 12 into 3 will be 36 36 plus 1 will be 37 so 37 by 12 so the, based upon the options we can split the answer right so answer for question number 23 is 3 1 by 12 which is the answer right so next question is question number 24 so 76 percentage can be written as 76 by 100 into x is equals to 525. So this 11 square is 121. So 121 bring towards right hand side plus 121. So 121 here. So this becomes 6, 4, 6, 46. So x is equals to 646 into 100 divided by 76. So no other way right you have to divide here 76 into 8 40 54 5 56 56 61 6 14 8 times 24 34 44 33 uh, 35, 36, 37, 38, 380. So 336, 42, 8.5, right? So 8.5 into 100 can be written as x is equal to 850. So answer for this question is 850. In case if you feel cancelling this 646 divided by 76 is difficult, do one thing. You can cancel it on two table. If you cancel it on two table 50, cancel it on two table and reduce the numbers. So once if you reduce the numbers into two digit, two digit and you can finally multiply the numbers. right? So in case if you feel how I write this 8.5 fastly so it comes in practice but in case if you can't able to uh, so solve or divide these kinds of number fastly so cancel it by two table try to reduce till it gets cancelled and then finally you can multiply the numbers that is one of the easy way to solve right so question number 24 answer is 850 so 850 is your answer right so next question is 9 square minus 4 square is 81 or what you can do is most of the students will do this in case of uh, if it is like 19 square minus 4 square right in case if there is number like this 19 square minus 4 square so you don't want to find what is 19 square and 4 square you can convert this as a plus b a minus b that will be the easy way most of the cases so a plus b will be 9 plus 4 is 13 a minus b will be 9 minus 4 so 9 minus 4 will be 5 so this becomes 65 so understood or not so 9 square minus 4 square is 65 or else you can directly say 9 square is 81 4 square is 16 so 91 minus 16 will be 65 you will get the same answer right? but in case if the numbers are huge for example 19 square minus 14 square so in that scenario use a plus b a minus b that will be one of the easy way right so uh, 9 square okay 65 right so 65 is equals to 49 so plus 3 square will be 9 plus 364 divided by x so 65 49 58 so minus of 58 is equals to 364 by x so this will be uh, 2 7 so x is equal to 364 divided by 7 so 7 5s are 35 remaining will be 114 52 so x is equals to 52 so which is the answer for the question right answer for question number 25 is x is equal to 52 so next question 125 square square root of 15 so into 5 cube divided by 375 so when just just this this part alone is important right you can solve if you practice more you can solve it easily because here it is square root of 15 if it is square root of 25 we can say it's 5 but square root of 15 you you cannot take the square root because 
uh, what you have to do here is convert the denominator part in terms of square root of 15 that is one of the easy way to solve the question so just see here how I am going to write this so 125 so 125 will be 5 cube right so 5 cube the whole square into square root of 15 into 5 cube so divided by right 375 so this 375 can be taken as uh, 25 into 15 yes or no 25 into 15 will be 375 so now see just see how easy it is 11 minus question mark so this becomes 5 power 6 into square root of 15 into 5 cube divided by square root of 25 will be 5 root 15 is equals to 5 power 11 minus question mark now you can cancel square root of 15 square root of 15 so you can one times so this becomes 5 power 6 plus 5 power 2 will be 5 power 8 is equals to 5 power 11 minus question mark so uh, question mark will be so 8 is equals to 11 minus question mark so question mark is equals to 11 minus 8 9 10 11 understood or not so answer for this question is 3 right so easy only this area is alone important right this part this part alone is important wherever you see a number like 15 sometimes you may see a question like uh, square root of 35 so square root of 35 you cannot able to take what is square root of 35 in the simplification part so in those scenario what you need to do is just convert the denominator part in terms of square root of 35 so that you can cancel square root of 35 35 so that will not be in the final answer just see yes square root of 15 so i have converted the denominator number in terms of square root of 15 so one number we got square root of 15 numerator square root of 15 so now it is easy to cancel so once if you cancel the numbers the remaining numbers will be easy to simplify it right so finally answer for question number 26 is 3 yes question number 26 is 3 so next question is 35 whole square division 7 so this can be written as you don't want to find what is 35 square because divided by 7 you can cancel 135 which is 5 so 35 into 5 plus square root of question mark is equals to 217 so square root of question mark is equals to 217 minus of 5 5 is a 25 3 15 17 so square root of uh, 214 217 will be 42 right this will be 25 so 25 35 42 so now we need to find what is 42 square so 42 square will be 2 8 16 1 16 17 1 7 6 2 so 1 7 6 2 will be 42 square right so here you don't want i have told you right you uh, try to buy a till 30 square that is enough and a 20 cube that is enough right if it is a 42 square or 52 square so try to multiply and find out the answer right so answer for this question is 1 7 6 4 right 1 7 6 4 2 square will be 4 so let me check answer for question number 27 is 1 7 6 4 so next question 121 into 5 plus 845 minus 154 no other way you have to multiply the numbers so this becomes 5 so 5 into 2 will be 10 1 6 not 5 so 6 not 5 plus 845 minus 154 is equals to question mark so 5 plus 5 will be 10 1 5 so this will be 14 1 4 5 0 minus 154 is equals to question mark square so one this becomes 10 times 4 6 times 1 2 9 6 is equals to question mark square so already we have question square root so 1 2 9 6 will be 36 is equals to question mark square so question mark is equals to 6 right so answer for this question is 6 and here where most of the students will make one mistake that is what they usually do is the first thing i have seen many students will make a mistake they will cancel the square root and two right because left hand side they think they have square root the right hand side also question mark square so what usually students used to do is they cancel these two numbers don't do that if it is left hand side we have a square root right hand side also we should have a square root only then we can cancel it if left hand side we have square root right hand side we have square then you should not cancel it that is actually wrong because this square root is called as 1 by 2 so the right hand side we have only 2 
so one by two two you cannot able to cancel it right so don't make that mistakes in the exams so most of the students will do this so that's the reason i'm saying right so answer for question number 28 is six yes answer number is six next to question so five by nine so five by nine so plus five plus three will be eight by five plus two by five so bracket of x is equals to 621 so no other way you have to take lcm as 45 here 9 5 is 45 this becomes 25 so 9 times 72 9 5 is 45 18 x is equals to 621 so x is equal to 621 into 45 divided by 8 10 15 reminder will be 1 so 10 11 115 right so x is equal to 621 divided by 115 into 45 we can reduce the numbers right so 9 5 is 45 5 2 is 10 remaining will be 115 5 3 is 15 23 Sorry, I'm just solving it. 22, 25, 25, 16, 243. So answer is 243, right? Sorry, uh, what I did is first I have just divided by direct first i cancel 9 and 23 and we are not getting the answer right something around decimal point so what i did is i have just directly divide 621 by 115 so if i divide 621 by 115 we get 5.4 so 5.4 into 45 so 5.4 into 45 which is uh, 243 i got so point one decimal point 243 so let me check answer is s yes, 243 option d here i have not given an option so option d 243 is your answer right so this this takes this much this is alone taking much time to solve so when you keep on practicing you will right if you can't able to divide this huge number better divide like this so cancel it by five table and then it is easy to divide these two numbers and the multiplication part will be easy either way you will get the same answer got it so answer for question number 29 right 29 is 243 so next question 3 by 4th of 24 you can get directly cancel percentage and 20 here yes because percentage will be divided by 100 cancel 20 so 14s are 4 64s are 24 so the remaining part will be 3 into 6 into 4 minus 32 is equals to question mark so 4 6 3 is our 18 so 18 into 4 minus 32 32 3 72 minus 32 so question mark is equals to 40 not that much difficult question so answer for this question number 30 is 40 yes so next question is square root of 289 264 so do not subtract these two first right don't do that because we have division here According to Bodmore's rule, first we have to divide and then only you have to subtract here. So 289 minus of 16. 16. Uh, 18, 23. We can cancel this becomes 8 times. Right? Understood or not? This can be written as 264 divided by 16 into 2 minus 87. So I have cancelled it 8 times. So this becomes 33. So 289 minus 33 minus 87 is equals to question mark. We have square root here. So this becomes 10. Remaining will be 1, 120. So 289 minus 120, uh, 2169. So 169 will be 13. 13 square will be 169. So which is the answer for the question? Yes, question number 31 is 13. 
easy and uh, this this part alone do not make any mistakes in the exam because I have seen students what initially used to do is they will not divide by 16 they subtract these two numbers initially and then finally they divide by 16 don't do that why because first according to the Bodmas rule you have to divide first so after division and then you have to subtract with 289 so don't do that mistake right so answer for which question it is Yes, 13 is the answer so question number 32 so 2 2 by 5 plus 3 1 by 4 so I think uh, we can take the integer part separately so 2 plus 3 minus 2 the remaining part are 2 by 5 1 by 4 minus of 7 by 8 into x is equals to 222 here so 5 2 will be 3 so here you can take LCM as 40, 8 phase are 40 that is 16, 10 times 35, x is equal to 2, 2, 2 and uh, this will be 3 plus, this becomes 26 right, so 26, so 26 minus 35 divided by 40 into x is equal to 2, 2, 2 and uh, this will be 4. Uh, 9 so 3 minus 9 by 40 so 120 so 120 minus 9 will be 111 so 111 divided by 40 into x is equal to 2 2 2 and we can cancel 2 times so x is equal to 80 understood or not so 20 32 answer is 80 right easy right so uh, most of the students will waste their time here they write this as 10 12 by 5 and then uh, 13 by 4 minus of 21 divided by 8. don't do that if you if you do this then you have to take lcm right so lcm will be 40 and then you have to multiply all these numbers by just you have to multiply by 5 times and you have to multiply by 10 times 8 times the numerator become huge numbers right so do not do that in case if you if you see any mixed fraction numbers are huge do one thing separate the integer part and the fraction part so first complete the integer part and then complete the fraction part then finally at the end you can join just here at the end i have joined 3 minus 9 by 40 so that's one of the easy way to solve the question so 32nd question uh, x is equal to 80 yes so next question 306 by division 12 0.5 5.75 so what you can do here is see uh, 306 divided by 12 we will not get an exact answer something around decimal point so better uh, what I can do is this will be minus 5.75 keep it as it is 0 0.5 square will be 0 0.25 right so plus this becomes 2 times 24 remaining will be 6 5 times 60 0.5 sorry 0.4 so 25.4 or just 25.5 right so now the easy way is you can cancel it so 25.5 will be 75 so points question mark is equals to 20 that's it answer for the question is 20 right so here you don't want to uh, convert as 5 by 10 the whole square it is time waste why because all the numbers are in a decimal value so better we can keep the decimal value as it is 0.5 the whole square will be 0 0.25 306 divided by 12 will be 25.5 so when you add these two numbers it becomes 25.75 so we can cancel 5.75 and 25.75 remaining you will have only 20 right no decimal point so answer for the question is 20 which is 33rd question yes so 34th question so here if required you can take the integer separately and fraction separately but here seems to be 844 so easy to take LCM so 40 45 so 45 by 8 minus of 8 9 10 11 so 11 by 4 minus 1 by 4 into x is equals to 483 so here 45 by 8 minus 12 by 4 into x is equal to 483 so take lcm as 8 here right when you take lcm as 8 45 4 into 2 will be 8 12 into 2 will be 24 into x is equal to 483 so 24 34 44 
21. So x is equals to 483 into 8 divided by 21. So x is equals to we can cancel 21 two times. Right. So 44 remaining will be 43. So 2 times 40, 23. So 23 into 8. 8 3 is 24 to 18. 184. So x is equal to 184. Right. Yes. For question number 34 where x is equal to 184. So easy here. And the only thing is in case if the numbers are like 14 here. Example I am saying. If it is 14 here. In that scenario. Uh, do not convert the mixed fraction into a normal fraction what I have told you in the previous question right if the LCMs are used then the better way is to split the mixed fraction into an integer separately and fraction separately that will be the easy way to solve most of the questions so answer for question number 34 is 184 so next question is 4 power 10 and uh, into 64 division to 56 is equals to 4 power question mark into 4 square so this becomes 16 1 so this will be 4 times right so 4 power 10 divided by 4 power 1 is equals to 4 power question mark into 4 square so this becomes 4 power 9 is equals to 4 power question mark into 4 power 2 so 9 minus 2 will be 7 answer is equals to 7 yes so answer for question number 35 where question mark is equal. So these are the easy questions, right? Comes under certs and indices. So division, multiplication, addition, this a power m into a power n, a power m division a power n. And then these two are most important to solve a question which has certs and indices. So next question. So next question 36. So 5 by 9, 2 by 3, 27 by 47. I think we can directly cancel here itself. 1 9s are 9. So 9 3s are 27. So similarly we can cancel 3 and 3 here. So 5 2s are 10. So this becomes 4 times. So 4x is equals to 71. So x is equals to 71 into 4 right because it is 1 by 4 here we have 4 in the denominator so x is equal to 4 28 that is 284 so answer for question number 36 is 284 yes let me check the answer yes 284 is correct so next question is question number 37 so cube root of 729 and the cube root of 7 1728 so remember that from the starting i am telling you that you have to remember cube root until 20 cube right you have to buy out the numbers and for square buy out 30 square that will be good choice because most of the questions you can able to solve it right so now you can 729 cube so 729 cube will be 9 divided by 1728 so 1728 will be 11 cube will be 1221 so 1331 and I think it will be 12 cube so 1728 will be 12 cube so into 8 divided by 15 into 3 divided by 8 is equals to question mark here so now we can cancel it so 1 3 is 3 so 4 3 is 12 right 4 3 is 12 we can cancel 8 and 8 here so cancel it on 3 table so 3 3 is 9 5 3 is 15 so answer will be question mark is equals to 3 divided by 20 right so 3 divided by 20 based upon the options right either it can be in a mixed fraction or it can be in the decimal value so if if in case we divide 3 by 20 answer will be 0 0.15 right so 3 divided by 20 30 so 120 remaining will be 10 yes answer will be 0 0.15 which is answer for question number 37 yes let me check it s 37 answer is 0 0.15 so based on the options either we can convert into a decimal value or uh, in case they can convert into a mixed fraction so whatever be based upon the options we can mark it right answer for question number 37 is 0 0.15 so next question 18 into 14 minus 6 into 8 so what i can do is uh, i can take 6 outside here so 3 into 14 so minus of 8 so divided by 4 times divide 122 
minus of 20 is equals to question mark it's a 6 into this becomes 12 142 minus 8 so divided by 102 is equals to question mark so this becomes 6 into 34 divided by 102 is equals to question mark 6 times 1 6 are 6 17 2 times so question mark is equals to 2 yes yes correct answer for question number 38 where question mark is equal to 2 just just listen this part alone this part alone most of the students will feel lengthy if they multiply it they you, usually we have to multiply 18 into 14 right you will get one answer and similarly you have to multiply 6 into 8 and then you have to subtract both that is the basic common rule but here what i did is here i have seen 18 number and 6 so better we can take 6 outside we can reduce the multiplication part so once if you take 6 outside so 18 is converted into 3 here so 14 minus of 8 now it is easy right to where we didn't get any huge multiplications so that's the reason i have taken common in case uh, if you want to multiply you can multiply 18 into 14 and then you can subtract you will get the same answer but in order to reduce some multiplication part so take some numbers common that will always be easy right so answer for question number 38 is 2 okay so question number 39 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 2 power 6 into 5 here we have 2 2 square power 2 so division 23 square is equals to 23 power question or all 23 right so 23 power 30 into 23 power 4 division 23 power 2 is equals to 23 power question mark so division a power m division a power n will be subtraction so 4 minus 2 will be 2 and here you have 23 power 30 into 23 power 2 right so this becomes 32 s yes. answer will be 32 so question mark so question mark is equals to 32 got it so most of the cases right you you can able to see a question like this which contains certs and indices in every problems exam you can definitely see one certs and indices definitely in the format of a power m into a power n a power m division a power n so all these formats are important right so next question is question number 40 so this will be 24 right so uh, into 10 divided by 5 so plus 1 so plus of 18 multiplication so 10 divided by 6 plus 6 understood right so what i did is i've just converted the 0 0.5 as 5 by 10 similarly 0 0.6 as 6 by 10 so division converted into multiplication reciprocal of the number 5 by 10 can be written as 10 by 5 now it is easy right to 24 48 plus 49 so square root of 49 so plus similarly three times 3 into 10 will be 30, 30 plus 6 will be 36. So here it is easy. So 7 plus 6 will be 13. That's it. Very easy or not, right? Very, very easy. So I have seen student multiplying or dividing 24 divided by 0 0.5. Kindly don't do that. Wherever you find division, in most of the cases, convert into multiplication. Just reciprocal the number. So here you have 0 0.5, right? So 0 0.5, that can be written as 5 by 10. So now when you reciprocal 10 by 5, that's it, 24 into 10 by 5. So now we got the answer easily. So question number 40 is 13. So now question number 41. So question seems to be very easy. But the thing here is you need to be very much careful on minus, plus, etc. Right? Because you have lots of brackets here. So just see 28 minus of 37 minus 15 plus x right equal to 58 here so 45 minus of 28 minus of 22 plus x is equals to 58 because 37 minus 15 will be 22 so now 22 minus just see 45 minus of 28 minus 22 minus x is equals to 58 here so 45 minus of 6 minus x is equals to 58 so 45 minus 6 plus x is equals to 58 just see how many additions subtractions that we are getting right so 45 minus 6 will be 58 minus of 39 so x is equal to 19 
So let me check the answer. X is equal to 58 minus uh, as answer is 19. I don't have solution. I just have only the answers. So answer is 19. Right. So just see very easy question but in most of the cases student will make a mistake if there are lots of brackets right you have a bracket here set bracket here square brackets here so be careful right every time while removing a bracket you have to be careful with the minus and plus part you have to multiply this minus to both the numbers so similarly this and this understood so minus yes that is the major thing here so answer for question number 41 is 19 so next is question number 42 so 9 cube so 9 into 9 into 9 better we can write like this 6 into 6 divided by 3 into 3 into 3 understood so 3 3 is a 9 cancel 1 3 here so 1 3 is a 3 again 3 3 is a 9 so the remaining part will be 3 into 9 into 6 into 6 so 9 3 is a 27 6 6 are 36 so now 42 so 27 into 36 42 4 12 21 33 4 37 right 3 6 7 8 9 9 72 yes answer will be 9 72 easy question but remember one thing do not write this 9 cube as what is the exact answer of 9 cube don't write it right it, it may while cancellation part will be difficult so in most of the cases if it is 9 cube write as 9 into 9 into 9 6 cube write as 6 into 6 into 6 that will be the easy way where you can able to cancel most of the numbers right you can just see 9 9 9 6 6 divided by 3 3 3 now we have cancelled 3 3 3 and 9 9 9 so finally we got small two numbers then we have multiplied it that will always be the easy way right so question number 43 so this will be 81 square so 81 square we need to find the answer in terms of three power question mark so you have to convert all the remaining numbers in terms of three power something so 81 will be 3 3 is a 9 27 3 power 4 so 3 power 4 the whole square into this will be 3 power 5 right so into 9 cube division 3 power so this can be written as 3 square right because everything we need to convert in terms of uh, uh, 3 power so what I can do here is this 9 cube can be written as 3 square the whole power 3 so 3 power 5 is equals to 3 power question mark minus 9 so 3 power 8 so 3 power 5 so 3 power 6 division 3 power 5 is equals to 3 power question mark minus 9 so division this will be 1 right so 8 9 14 so 3 power 14 is equals to 3 power question mark minus 9 so question mark is equals to 23 because 14 is equal to question mark minus 9 so question mark is equal to 14 plus 9 so 14 plus 9 will be 23 so just answer for the question so answer for question number 43 option b okay so 23 is the answer right so next question here is so 444 division 37 plus 15 plus 11 into question mark is equals to 7 so what i can do here is first let let me bring this square, square root towards right hand side why because here you have uh, inside the square root you have question mark so better in order to remove the complete left hand side part we can uh, square the right hand side number so 447 37 so this becomes 1 times 7 2 times so this will be 12 right so 12 plus 15 plus 11 x is equals to 49 understood or not right so this this side left hand side we have square root 1 by 2 so when you bring the 1 by 2 towards right hand side it becomes square so 7 square 49 so 11 x is equals to 49 minus of 27 so x is equal to 22 divided by 11 so x is equal to 2 that's it so answer for question number 44 is 2 so easy let me check once again the answer is yes the answer is 2 so now next question 9 twos are 18 plus 1 19 divided by 9 so this will be 19 20 21 divided by 19 so plus 6 7 by 3 so plus 2 and uh, 3 by 2 is equals to question mark so we can cancel 19 and 19 here so cancel on 3 table 3 times 
7 3 is a 21 7 by 3 so we have 7 by 3 plus 7 by 3 so plus 3 by 2 is equal to question mark so this becomes 14 by 3 plus 3 by 2 is equal to question mark so take LCM as 6 so this becomes 28 so 3 9 is equal to question mark here so 30 37 or 30 37 right 237 by 6 is equal to question mark so based upon the options right either you can convert into a mixed fraction like 6 6 or 36 so 6 1 by 6 i think so 36 37 by 6 right so based upon the options we can mark the answer so answer for question number 37 by 6 okay so next question 46th question yes most important question because uh, these kind of questions are important nowadays like converting the numbers into uh, you know it will be in the sum numbers and be certs and indices so inside that you have to be very careful on these areas just see 0 0.9 power 3.5 so what you need to do is in most of the cases write like this 9 by 10 3.5 that is easy so similarly 9 by 100 1.5 understood or not so 3 by 10 into 10 power question mark so now 9 power 3.5 this can be written as 9 power 3.5 divided by 10 power 3.5 into so 9 power 1.5 divided by 100 power 1.5 is equals to 3 power 10 into 10 power question mark so this becomes 3 and 4 right so 4 3 and 4 and 5 just just listen here this part so 9 power 3.5 9 power 1.5 will be 9 power 5 right so divided by 10 power 3.5 into 10 100 power 1.5 is equals to 3 power 10 into 10 power question mark so this can be written as 9 can be written as 3 square so 3 power 10 this and this we can cancel it so the remaining part will be 1 divided by 10 power 3.5 so 100 will be 10 square that is 10 power 2 right so 2 will be 3 is equals to 10 power question mark so 3.5 plus 3 will be 6.5 when it goes to the numerator minus so question mark is equal to minus 6.5 right very important question this part alone is important because many students struggle to solve this question this area they will do different different things so don't do that 0 0.9 can be written as 9 by 10 0 0.09 can be written as 9 by 100 right two important step and then the next step what we did is 3 power 10 10 power question mark so 3 power 10 keep the sorry keep the 3 power 10 number as it is so now this 9 power 5 so this 9 power 5 right can be written as 3 square power 5 yes or no 3 square is 9 power 5 so now 3 5 into 2 will be 10 which is 3 power 10 so left hand side we have 3 power 10 right hand side we have 3 power 10 so we can cancel 3 power 10 and 3 power 10 1 is completed right so still we have only 10 power something so in the denominator part we have 10 power 3.5 100 power 1.5 so 100 can be written as 10 square so 2 into 1.5 will be 3 so 3.5 plus 3 will be 6.5 so when you bring the denominator term to the numerator minus 6.5 so answer for question number 46 will be minus 6.5 let me check the answer yes minus 6.5 is the answer understood so now minus 6.5 yes so next will be 148877 cube root again finding a cube root so just see here the last number ends at 7 so cube root number will be ends at 3 so cancel 3 numbers 148 so 6 cube will be 216 5 cube will be 125 so 148 will be in the range so 53 so I have told you the shortcuts right so square root cube root we have learned many shortcuts so answer for question number 47 is 53 let me check the answer is yes, 53 so next question so similarly 24 so 2 times 8 times cancel it 62 68 center number will be 65 42 see the center number will be 4225 so here 4624 so definitely it will be 68 so 68 convert division into multiplication so 25 by 4 is equals to 
x into 25 so cancel 25 and 25 here so cancel 4 times 1 4s are 4 2 28 7 4s are 28 so x is equal to 17 let me check s answer x is equal to 17 next will be 49th question so uh, we can cancel 5 and 5 here so 1 4s are 4 2 4s are 8 so 1 2s are 2 this will be 1 1 1 Similarly, we can cancel it. 3, 3 is 9. That's it, right? So, question mark is equals to 1, 1, 1 divided by 3. So, let me check the answer whether they have given any... Uh, no, they didn't give an answer. So, we can cancel it, right? 3, 3 is 9. 10, 11, 37. Yes. Question mark is equal. So, I thought the answer will be in decimal point. No. Answer is 37. Easy question. So last 50th question, 4 by 3 of 25 percentage of 18 by 19. So just see 19 into 3, right? So 19 into 3 will be 57. 25 percentage will be 1 by 4. So we can cancel these two numbers. So 1 3 is 3, 6 3 is 18. So answer question mark is equals to 18. That's it. Very easy. Understood or not? You don't want to find what is 25 per what is exactly 25? 25 percentage will be 25 by 100. 25 by 100 will be 1 by 4. So this 25 part we get 1 by 4. Cancel 4 and 4 here. That's it. Directly you don't want to write 25 by 100. Those steps directly cancel these two numbers. So remaining 3 and I have cancelled 18 6 times. 119 3 times. That's it. So answer will be 18. So very easy, right? So answer for question number 15. 15 is 18. So friends, now let me move on to the second set of 50 questions. So finally, uh, 50 question we have solved here and with different categories like easy, medium, art. So now let me move on to the next set of 50 questions. So 1200 division 4 by 3, 800 into 1.1. So I think what we can do here is, so 1200, right? So division convert into multiplication, which is 3 by 4. So minus of 800. So this 1.1 can be written as 11 by 10. Easy, right? So cancel 0 and 0 is equals to question mark. So this becomes 880, right? So 4 3s are 12. So 900. So 900 minus 880 resultant will be 20. So answer for question number 51 is 20, right? Yes, let me check the answer. Yes, answer is 20. Okay. So next question, 7225 into 1 by 5. So 35 square. So 35 square, so 7225. So number answered 5 will be 5 here. So cancel square root a shortcut, right? So 80, 72, 8 are 64, 9 9s are 81. So definitely it will be 85. So 85 into 1 by 5. So plus 35 square. So 5 square will be 25. So 4 into 3 will be 12. 1, 2, 2, 5 is equals to question mark. So cancel it on 5 table. 1, 5 is 5. Remaining will be 3. 7, 5 is 35. So 17. So 1, 2, 2, 5 plus 17. So 12, 1, 4, 2, 1. So answer will be 1, 2, 4, 2. So which is the answer for question number 52. Yes, option number C, we have 1, 2, 4, 2. So we can say that answer will be 1, 2, 4. Easy questions, right? So remember one thing. These are the square roots. I have told you many times starting from the video. Square root, cube root are most important. I hope everyone learned the shortcuts. If you didn't learn the shortcuts, kindly learn it. Because uh, in bank exams, definitely you may see, not even in simplification, even in some miscellaneous like time and work, time and distance, uh, data interpretation, uh, uh, most of the difficult questions where you can able to see square roots, right? So answer will be 1, 2, 4, 2 for 15, num question number 52. Okay. So next question is 53, right? So 30 into 54, right? So division convert into multiplication. So uh, this will be 1 point... Uh, 12 by 10 when you convert division into multiplication 10 by 12 right so 10 by 12 minus of question mark is equals to 980 so now we can cancel it on two table right if you cancel it on directly by three table 10 times this becomes four threes are 12 so we can cancel it on two table again two twos are four so this will be two twos are four one twenty seven so no, we can't able to cancel anything right so what you can do is or we can cancel it this becomes 5 times so 27 into 50 
so minus of question mark is equals to 980 so question mark is equal 27 into 50 right so 0 here uh, this becomes 75 sir 35 3 10 30 1350 yes 1350 minus of 980 will be 0 7 3 370 so question mark is equals to 370 so answer for question number 53 where question mark is equals to 370 let me check the answer yes option number a 370 will be your answer right so easy many times i have told you this part alone wherever you see the value division in decimal point first do one thing remove the decimal point 12 by 10 and then convert division into multiplication reciprocal the number 10 by 12 so finally we wrote it as 10 by 12 and cancellation part seems to be easy so finally we can get the answer easily right so whenever you see this part alone so the most important thing convert into multiplication and convert the decimal point into a normal number right so question number 54 yes 54th question okay so this becomes 3 into 3 by 8 okay so 3 into 3 by 8 multiplication of 6 into 12 by 15 so this becomes 12 1 72 right 72 77 so 77 by 12 so minus of 32 uh, 35 by 16 into 6 and 7 by 2 so 7 by 2 is equals to question mark so I think uh, we can cancel this on 3 table so 4 3 is at 12 right so now we can't able to cancel anything so 3 into 77 so 3 into 77 so divided by 32 minus of 35 into 7 divided by 32 here 7 5 is 35 remaining will be 3 so 21 so 21 plus 3 will be 24 right 24 equal to question mark so I think uh, okay 7 3 is 21 to 21 23 minus of 245 divided by 32 so I think uh, this is question mark right I think I'm making some mistake anywhere else I don't know 3 into 77 32 okay so is equals to question mark because we are getting an answer in negative right okay 31 41 so 14 right so 14 let me let me try it 14 by 32 so minus 14 by 32 cancel it on two tables 7 times uh, 16 times so answer will be minus 7 by 16 so which is the answer for the question right okay so Kindly uh, you two please solve the question friends because I don't know I am getting minus 7 by 15, 7 by 16 which is the answer but the answer they have given is 14 right. I don't know I have given the they have uh, question is anything wrong I don't know exactly because I don't have solution I have only the options and the answer. So answer is 14. Okay please uh, try this question alone because I am not getting the answer. Uh, I think I have a small doubt here 3 3 by I think this this part will be 3 3 by 8 I think so they have I think 3 into 3 by 8 will be wrong 3 3 by 8 I think so okay I'm sorry uh, I don't know the answer for this question so I just mark important or else I will solve by solve so please solve this question and say your answer right so next question is so in case if you are getting answer 14 comment it i will check the answer right okay so question number 55 is 52 53 yes 55th question so 4 square into 9 square so 4 into 4 
to 9. So square root of 324, square root of 324 will be 18. So 18 minus of 40 is equals to 2 power question mark. So now we can cancel it, right? So 192 here, 9 twos are 18, we can directly cancel 18 here. So now 4 into 2 will be 8, 8 into 9. So 8 into 9 minus 40 is equals to 2 power question mark. 72, right? So 72 minus 40 equal to 2 power question mark. So this will be 32. 32 is equal to 2 power question mark. So 32 will be 2 power 5. So 5 question mark will be 5 here. So answer is easy. So answer for this question number 55 where question mark is equals to 5. Easy question. So answer for question number 55 is 5 okay so next question is 324 so 3 it's just see uh, all are in a decimal point 322 32.4 12.1 67.6 do one thing everything is a single digit right single digit decimal point so we can cancel decimal point decimal point easily right so now we can write this as square root of 324 divided by square root of 121 now it seems to be easy right so 676 divided by 144 so this will be 18 divided by 11 so 676 25 will be 625 26 will be 676 so 26 144 will be 12 is equals to question mark that's it if you cancel it you will get the answer i think we can cancel it on six table 6 3s are 18, 6 2s are 12. So again cancel it on 2 table, this becomes 13. So 13 divided by 11. Yes, 13 by 11. Or else we can uh, 3, right? So this will be uh, 39 by 11. So 3, 11, 33, 6. So we can say that 3, 6 by 11. So based upon the options, either the answer can be uh, 33, so 39 by 11. So either way, if, if there is an option like 39 by 11, go with that option. Or they can convert this 39 by 11 into a mixed fraction, 3, 6 by 11. But the answer, what they have given is option number C, 3, 6 by 11. Yes, we got this answer, right? So answer for question number 56 will be 3, 6 by 11, right? Question number 57. So 4 into 2 will be 8. So 8 plus 3 will be 11. So 11 by 4. So 35. 35 plus 5 will be 40. So 40 by 7. Convert a division into multiplication. Reciprocal the number. right? So 9 into 2, 18. 18 plus 4 will be 22. 22 by 9. Convert into multiplication. So 9 by 22. right? So minus of question mark is equals to 4. So now we can cancel. This becomes 2 times. So this becomes 10 times, cancel it, this becomes 5 times. So this will be 9 5 are 45, right? So 9 5 are 45 by 7 minus of question mark is equals to 4. So 45, so question mark is equals to 45 by 7 minus 4, right? So 45 minus 28 by 7 is equals to question mark. So this will be 38, 10. 7 17 so 17 by 7 so 17 by 7 so what you can do is either look at the options right either it can be a mixed fraction or the answer can be 17 by 7 or it can be in a decimal value right so here the options what they have given in a mixed fraction so let me convert it right so this will be 7 into 2 will be 14 remaining will be 3 so 2 3 by 7 that's it so answer for the question will be 2 3 by 7 so uh, always try to solve the question completely until you get the final answer so after getting the final answer check the options right whether they have given in a mixed fraction or in a decimal point or in a normal fraction so based upon the options you can write the answer right so answer number question number 57 answer will be 2 3 by 7 yes option number a so next question is so what you can do is question mark will be question mark percentage of 400. So don't do that uh, because many students will initially what they used to do is they cancel percentage and 400 here. That is wrong. Why? Because they have given a bracket here. So, so first you have to solve the values that are inside the bracket. And then finally you comes to this question mark percentage. Right. So, so now question mark plus 16. So 0.2 will be 2, 2 by 10 convert into multiplication 10 by 2. So similarly here 5 by 100 convert into multiplication 100 by 5. 
is equals to 1700 so now try to cancel it 5 twos are 10 we can cancel 10 directly here so here question mark percentage of uh, 400 right this will be 16 into will be 600 so this becomes 2000 is equals to 1700 yes so cancel percentage 20 here so now you can cancel 1010 here so question mark into 2 is equals to 170 so question mark is equal to 170 by 2 so question mark is equals to 85 yes so answer for the question is 85 so don't do this mistake right this is the important part in the question because i've seen many students who do this percentage and two zero directly you have to you have to do this only in terms of a separate number but if it is inside a bracket or addition is there see 400 plus something so in this addition subtraction if it is 400 is separately they have given you can cancel percentage and two zero if there is in terms of addition multiplication or subtraction don't do it right complete the bracket part first and then solve the remaining session right so answer for question number 58 is 85 they have given none of these but i think the answer will be 85 we are getting the answer right so 59th question so 444 i think uh, this will be divided by question mark so 111 comes to the denominator so we can cancel this becomes four times so 44 into 16 24 to 24 28 33 so 4 7 7 not 4 easy question so from directly by seeing a computer you can solve this question right so answer for this question is 704 answer for question number 59 is yes, option number a they have given it okay so 60 percentage we can cancel 10 percentage will be divided by 100 right so we can cancel 10 and then 10 uh, there so remaining will be 60 by 10 so 60 by 10 into square root of question mark so is equals to 75 percentage so what you can do is 75 percentage uh, will be 75 by 100 into 220 minus of 111 because we can bring that left hand side 111 towards right hand side so now we can cancel 0 0 here cancel it on two table 5 twos are 10 11 times cancel it on 15 times right so now 6 by 10 into square root of question mark is equals to 15 11 so this becomes 5 so 5 6 165 so 165 minus 11 so 111 right so square root of question mark is equals to 54 into 10 divided by 6 s yes, we can bring the 6 by 10 towards right hand side that becomes 10 by 6 so cancel it 9 6 are 54 so question mark is equals to 90 so question mark is equals to 90 square so which becomes 8100 so answer for this question will be 8100 yes we have question number 60 yes we have an option of 8100 so that's it right easy you don't want to confuse a lot why i uh, just stopped two seconds here because i thought of writing 20, 75 percentage as 3 by 4 that is one of the easy way right because 75 percentage will be 75 by 100 so we can cancel it on 25 table three times numerator four times denominator i thought of doing it but i seen here it is 220 so what i did is i have just written 75 percentage as 75 by 100 1010 and then cancel it on two table so which i feel easy in case if we are writing the 75 percentage as 3 by 4 you two will get the same answer right so answer for question number 60 will be 8100 yes so next question is question number 61 so this will be 15 square will be 225 16 square will be 256 so square root of 256 will be 16 so 1 by 6 into 16 into question mark is equals to 90 minus 26 which will be 64 here right so question mark is equals to bring this 16 by 6 towards right hand side it becomes 6 by 16 so this will be 4 times 16 4s are 64 sorry so question mark is equals to 24 so answer for this 
question number 61 where question mark is equals to 64 so which is the answer for the question easy right most of the question that we are solving here is easy so try to solve uh, by watching the video you two was from the beginning i am saying it you two try to uh, simultaneously solve the question so that you can easily improve your speed so answer for question number 61 is 24 yes answer is 24 yes so next question 7 square is 49 17 square 289 5 square 25 minus of 2 is equals to question mark right so this becomes 49 plus 289 plus 25 23 square root is equals to question mark so 9 10 11 12 1 so 4 6 361 is equals to question mark where 361 will be 19 yes so easy 361 will be 19 so 9 18 21 right so remaining will be 2 8 10 4 5 6 remaining will be 1 391 361 so 90 let me check the answer Yes, answer for question number 62 is 19, which is the answer for the question, right? So, 63. Yes. Next question, 16.5% of 2400. So, you can directly cancel it, right? We can cancel percentage 20 here, right? So, remaining will be 16.5. 16.5, remove the decimal point, 165 by 10, right? So, into 24. Now it is easy, right? So 2 by 3 into x. That's it. It will be easy. So we can cancel here 1, 2s are 2, 12, 2s are 24. So cancel it on 2 table again, 5, 2s are 10. So cancel it on 2 table, 6, 2s are 12. Similarly, cancel it on 5 table, 5, 3s are 15. Remaining 1, it will be again 15. 5, 3s are 15. So 33. So now x is equals to 33 into 18. So 8 threes are 24 so remaining will be 3 24 3 27 27 to 29 so remaining will be 2 3 into 1 will be 3 3 plus 1 will be 5 so 594 yes 63rd question so answer will be 594 so this is the way you have to solve the question right this is the easy way you when you keep on practicing more number of question this will be the easy way to solve so answer number question 63 where answer is 594 s yes, option number 3 okay so this becomes question mark square minus 80 so 3 into 3 right so 4 into 4 so always i did it right instead of writing 4 square as 16 i always write it into 4 into 4 for easy multiplications right so divided by 36 so plus 80 is equals to question mark square so now what I can do is 4 into 3 will be 12, 12 into 3 will be 36. So we can directly cancel 36 here. So 5 into 4 will be 20. So 20 plus 80 is equals to question mark square. So question mark square is equal to 100. So question mark is equal to square root of 100 which is 10. That's it. So answer for the question, question mark is equals to 10. Easy. Right? And uh, many students I'm really sorry actually forgot to turn it on okay so uh, most of the uh, students will uh, write this 3 square as 9 4 square as 16 don't do that in in most of the cases if you practice more number of question you won't write like this you will always write like 3 into 3 4 into 4 which I did here so that it will be easy you can cancel 4 into 3 will be a 12 12 into 3 will be 36 so you can cancel 36 or you can cancel 1 times 4 times here that is also possible but in most of the cases writing like this will help you to reduce the calculation part that's the reason I have written like this right so answer for question number 64 will be 10 yes answer will be 10 which is option number 5 so next question is 72 so we can divide this 6 twos are 12 21 so 21 minus 12 right into 18 is equals to 72 divided by question mark square so this will be 22 8 8 plus 1 will be 9 
so question mark square is equals to 72 divided by 18 into 9 right so we can cancel this 9 8s are 72 cancel it on two table this will be 4 2s are 8 cancel it on two table 9 2s are 18 so question mark is equals to 4 by 9 and we have to find what is question mark square so question mark is equals to so question mark equal to 2 by 3 that's it because square root of 4 will be 2 square root of 9 will be 3 so you can write this as 2 by 3 that's it so answer for the question is question mark is equals to 2 by 3 right so this will be answer for question number 65 so next question 66 right okay. 66 the question okay 4225.42.25 so i think we can cancel these two decimal point right so why because 16.20.2 only one decimal point so one's place so we can cancel this and write it as 162 by 2 right so plus but this we cannot able to cancel it so 422.5 divided by 5 right so into question mark is equals to 1986 so now we can cancel this this becomes 8 2s are 16, 81. So cancel it on 5 table. 8 5s are 40. So remaining will be 2. 5 4s are 20. So remaining will be 2. So again 25, 5 times. So 84.5 plus 81. 19860. So question mark is equals to 1986. 0 divided by 8 no 1655 so friends understood or not how i wrote this because this 165.8 sorry 165.5 i have written as 1655 by 10 so when this 10 goes to the right hand side it becomes 1986 zero right so 19860 divided by 1655 so now we need to cancel it right so i think uh, this becomes one times right so one times 1665 so five times Three thirty one, right? When you subtract it, it will be three thirty one, because one nine eight six minus one six five five will be three thirty one, and lastly we have zero, right? So one six five five into two five two are ten eleven one twelve thirteen one thirty. So answer will be twelve. So question mark is equals to twelve. Little bit of eye calculation parts here, right? So only thing the here is you have to. Uh, be careful on this last cancellation part alone division part alone so 19860 divided by 1655 so 1655 will be one times so i have written one year so 1986 minus 1655 will be 331 so last we have zero so 3310 3310 will be 1655 into 2 so the answer will be 12 so which is the answer for the question right so answer for question number 66 yes answer will be 12 that's it easy so next question is 0 0.15 can be written as 15 by 100 into 320 so division 4 can be written as 1 by 4 is equals to 3 into 2 power question mark so now what we can do is we can cancel 0 and 0 here we can cancel it on 2 table so this becomes 16 2s are 32 cancel it on 2 table 5 times 1 5s are 5 5 3s are 15 so 1 4s are 4 4 4s are 16 cancel 3 and 3 here easy cancellation part so finally we got 2 power question mark is equals to 4 so 4 will be 2 square so 2 power question mark is equals to 2 square so question mark is equals to 2 that's it very easy so answer for this question number 67 where question mark is equals to 2 yes so next question let me check the answer yes question mark is equals to 2 so 4 into 2 will be 8 8 plus 1 will be 9 so 9 by 4 so 10 12 by 5 into question mark is equals to 18 so we can cancel it 1 9s are 9 9 2s are 18 1 4s are 4 4 3s are 12 so question mark is equals to 10 divided by 3 
So 10 divided by 3 based upon the option either it can be 3, 3, 3, 3 3.33 something one option or else directly they can give it as 10 by 3 answer or else convert into a mixed fraction right 3 1 by 3. So 3 1 by 3 9 plus 1 will be 10, 10 by 3. So based upon the options we can mark the answer but here they have given an option as 3 1 by 3 mixed fraction. So this is the answer right. So answer for question number 68 okay. So next question 3 3 by 4 right so 4 into 3 will be 12 so 12 plus 3 will be 15 so 15 by 4 4 5 by 2 multiplication 2 by 5 so into 8 9 by 2 so plus 7 by 4 is equals to question mark so now these three part in multiplication and this is alone in addition be careful right so cancel it 5 threes are 15 cancel 2 and 2 here so this becomes 9 threes are 27 divided by 4 so plus 7 divided by 4 is equals to question mark 27 7 34 so 34 divided by 4 is equals to question mark so cancel it on two table cancel it on two table 17 so 17 by 2 so 17 by 2 will be 8 1 8 2 are 16 16 plus 1 will be 17 so 17 by 2 will be the answer got it that's an easy question be careful these three part are in multiplication and the last part alone in addition right so this you have to do this multiplication part separately and then finally you comes with add with the addition term right that is important so question number 69 yes. question number 69 8 1 by 2 is correct so next question is so 14 cancel it First the division we have, so instead of multiplying, first we have to divide. So 14 twos are 28, so 21, so 21 into 5, so 21 into 5, 5 here, 105, so plus 11 divided by question mark is equals to 64, right? So 64 divided by 5, so plus 17 by 10, instead of 1.7 we can write it as 17 by 10 so now this will be 6 1 1 divided by question mark is equals to take lcm as 10 here 5 into 2 will be 10 so 64 into 2 128 so 128 plus 17 so 1 1 so question mark is equals to so cross multiply it right so 1160 so this will be uh, 815 so remaining will be 14145 so 145 into x so question mark is equal to 1160 divided by 145 so 5 times 6 times 24 7 8 7 times will be 35 8 times so answer will be 8 so question mark is equal to 8 right so answer for question number 70 yes 70 where question mark is equals to 8 that's it easy question so question number 71 so again 126 by 14 so this will be uh, 7 8 8 square so 7 3 is at 21 right so what I can do here is so 9x minus 21 divided by 8 square 64 right so 64 minus 7 into 6 42 so plus 20 is equals to 1 which means you can bring the denominator part to the right hand side so 9x minus 21 is equals to 64 22. So 22 plus 20 will be 42. So 42. So 9x is equals to 42 plus 21. So 9x is equals to 4, 5, 6, 3, 63. So 9, 7s are 63. X is equal to 7. That's it, right? Yes, answer will be 7. So why I struggle this part alone? Because what I think is uh, uh, either we have to take LCM because 
uh, if you take LCM, right, so 14, that becomes a lengthy process. So better we can cancel it, 126 by 14, because most of the cases, instead of canceling it, when you take LCM, it is easy to cancel both denominator and numerator part. That's the reason I thought of taking it LCM, LCM as 14, but we, that, that is not required. Why? Because we can directly 14 and 126 will be 9 times. So that's the reason I directly cancelled it, right? So answer for question number 71. So x is equals to 7. Yes. So next question. So question mark divided by 4 into 56 is equals to 672. So square root of question mark is equals to 672 into 4 divided by 56. Right? So square root of question mark, this will be... 1 times 56 so 2 times yes 2 times will be 672 so 12 into 4 will be 48 so square root of question mark is equals to 48 so question mark is equals to 48 square so 48 square will be 64 6 32 32 will be 64 so 64 plus 6 will be 77 4 4 are 16 so 16 plus 7 will be 23 2304 s 2304 that's it so answer for question mark is equals to 2304 easy you don't want to uh, huge calculation is not there so answer for s 2304 yes so next question so 18 into 6 year so 6 will be of 4 4s are 16, 6 6 are 36, cancel two numbers, you have 11 here, so either it can be 34 or 36, center number 35 square, 1 2 2 5, so 1 2 2 5 will be the center number, but what we have to get is 1 1 5 6, so above 35 square we have only 34. 34 divided by 17 is equals to question mark square so 17 into 2 34 18 into 2 will be 36 is equals to question mark square so question mark is equal to square root of 36 so question mark is equals to 6 that's it right easy question so only part is uh, this part alone right how I take the square root this is the shortcut I have used here so how to find the square root of a number so that's it so next question answer for question number 73 will be 6 yes so 5 3 is a 15 15 plus 3 will be 18 so 18 by 5 24 24 plus 1 will be 25 by 3 so plus question mark is equals to 4 cube cancel this becomes 5 times so this becomes 6 times so question mark is equals to 64 minus 30 so question mark is equals to 34 easy questions so question answer for 74th question as whether i have solved 73 s 6 s 34 sorry i confused answer for question number 74 is 34 so next question so again 25 square will be 225 right sorry 625 so 26 will be 676 so it is easy to find so 780 divided by 26 plus question mark square is equals to 1326 so, so 26 into 3 26 into 3 will be 780 so this becomes 30 here so question mark square is equal to 1320 minus of 30 so question mark square is equal to 1 2 9 0 so question mark is equal to square root of 1 2 9 0 so 1 2 9 0 sorry I think I have uh, did something wrong here yes this is not 1 3 it's 1 3 2 6 but I have written 1 3 2 0 so 1296 so 1296 because i was confused like it is not a perfect num perfect square number so that's the reason i've got confused so 1296 so 1296 will be 36 
So answer for this question will be 36. That is question mark is equals to 36. Right. So answer for question number 75. Yes, option number A, 36 is your answer. So next question, 76th question. So 414 divided by 23. So there are two parts, division and this seems to be easy, right? So 1 times will be 23. 83 is our 170, 118 times. So 18 into 7 plus 36 divided by 7 square will be 49. 3 square will be 9, 2 square will be 4, 9 minus 4 will be 5. So 49 plus 5 is equals to question mark. 56, 5. Right, so 12, 126 plus 36 divided by 54 is equals to question mark. So 12, 1, 3, 3 will be 6, 162 by 54 is equal to question mark. So 54 into 3 will be 162. So we can say that question mark is equals to 3. So which will be the answer for question number 76. Let me check. Yes, answer will be question mark is equals to 3. So question number 77. So 700 division 70 division 0 0.5 two division cases for this two division case so 700 into 7 usually 70 division 70 can be written as convert into multiplication 1 by 70 for easy thing right so similarly division 0 0.5 0 0.5 can be written as 5 by 10 so converting division into multiplication reciprocal of the number 10 by 5 that's it equal to question mark so now we can cancel this on 10 times so again cancel 1 times, 2 times here. So question mark is equal to 20. <coughs> so easy question, right? So answer for question number 77, where option number A, question mark is equal to 20. So next question. So 27 square into 12 cube, division of uh, 48. Okay, so what you can do is, we need to find what is 3 power question mark, right? We can convert this 27 as 3 power 3, right? So 3 power 3 will be 27. So already we have square here. So into 12 cube, let me keep this 12 cube as it is. So division of 48, right? So we can division of 48 and uh, usually 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 will be 5 by 10. So converting division into multiplication 10 by 5 but square here so 100 divided by 25 right so is equals to 3 power question mark. So now we can cancel it on 4 table right so 3 power 6 into 12 cube divided by 48 into 4 is equals to 3 power question mark. So we can cancel it on 12 table, right? 1 12 are 12, 12 4 are 48. So the remaining value will be 3 power 6 into, so we have cancelled 1 12, right? So remaining will be 2 12 here. So divided by uh, 4 into 4 is equals to 3 power question mark. So 3 times, 3 times here, right? So finally we got 3 power 6 into 3 power 1 into 3 power 1 is equals to 3 power question mark. So 6, 1, 1, you have to add the number. So 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 1 will be 8. So 3 power 8 is equals to 3 power question mark. So question mark is equals to 8. So which is the answer for question number 78. Yes, answer for 78 where question mark is equal to 8. So be very careful on this part alone, right? So this, this part alone is important, right? Some students will write this 0 0.5 square as 0 0.25 and then 25, so 25 by 100 and then they cancel it on 4 table. Either way, right, you can solve this question in a different method, but be careful with the brackets, right. So this division, after that they have given a bracket. So inside the bracket you have two numbers. The meaning here is you have to divide this complete term and then you have to divide with this number. Understood or not? So that's the reason I have converted directly into a long division and then separated into two parts, numerator and denominator part. And finally I merged both. Right. So this is one of the easy way where without any mistakes we can solve the question. So question number 78 is yes, previous question. Answer will be option C8. Okay. So next question 3.5 into 3.5. So 3.5. So see here uh, you can able to see these kinds of question in very rare cases like RRB clerk, RRB PO when you look at the memory based question papers of 2017-18 uh, you can able to see these kinds of question. 
like it's a formula actually a plus b the whole square just see 3.5 3.5 which is a square same number square so this will be a this will be b and here it is 2 so this will be b and this will be b which is b square so the the format what they have given is a square plus 2 a b plus b square so what is the formula here a plus b the whole square is the formula right so we know that a will be 3.5 so instead of a substitute 3.5 so b will be 5.5 so this will be 5.5 the whole square so 9 the whole square is equals to 81 so question mark is equals to 81 that's it right so uh, these kinds of question requires a lot of practice right sometimes you may see a square minus 2 a b plus b square sometimes you may able to see a minus b uh, a square plus a b plus b square these kinds of formula like uh, a cube minus b cube formula a cube plus b cube formula a plus b the whole cube formula right so it's a rare case simplification but in most of the memory based question of 2016-17 those years you can able to see many question on this format right so this is important i will mark in the pdf file so while learning right so while learning make use of it so answer for question number 78 is 81 okay they have given none of these i think answer will be 81 okay so next question is 25 so important question right because uh, uh, many uh, many of my videos i have solved it even in uh, shorts videos right i have solved uh, these kinds of questions so 225 is nothing but 15 right so 54 15 will be 169 169 will be 13 right so now add this so 13 will be 121 right when you add 108 plus 13 will be 121 which is 11 right so here you have 25 so 25 plus 11 will be 36 so square root of 36 will be 6 so finally you have 10 so 10 plus 6 will be 16 so finally square root of 16 will be 4 which will be the answer for the question right so important question i have solved many uh, questions on my youtube channel in the shots right in the shots you can able to see these kinds of uh, questions right important too so question number 80 where the answer is question mark is equals to 4 right so next question is so 1024.8 24.6 minus 4.2 see in the bracket they have given 10 if you multiply 10 inside all the decimal points will be removed because ones place ones place ones place so it is easy when you multiply the 10 to each of these terms right the complete decimal point will go so the remaining will be 10248 so next will be 246 so 246 will be there and then you have to subtract with 42 first let me add so 6 plus 14 1 8 1 9 4 0 1 right 1 uh, 0 4 9 4 yes so minus of 42 so you have to subtract to 42 here so 2 times so this will be 5 times so 4 0 1 so 1 uh, 0 4 5 2 and then you have to bring this 48 towards left hand side so when you uh, bring subtract this 48 here 10404 right so 10404 so question mark square is equals to 10404 so question mark is equal to square root of 10404 so 102 102 square will be 10404 so we can say that question mark is equals to 102 right that's it yes option number b they have given 102 as the answer so option number b that is answer will be question mark is equals to 102 so very easy case you don't want to uh, uh, use any technique here but remember one thing some students will add and finally they multiply with 10 right so either way because here you can able to see 0 0.8 0 0.6 0 0.2 so tens place hundreds place if it is one number is in tens place and another number is in hundreds place decimal point so there we will feel some confusion so here everywhere you can able to see only in ones place so directly i multiplied by 10 so that the answer that we got will be easy because when you remove the decimal point itself most of the simplification questions will be easy so answer for question number 81 where option number b question mark is equals to 102 So next question is question number 82 here. Just see percentage, right? You can cancel percentage 20 here. 
percentage 20 here so the remaining value will be 375 by 10 into 8 so minus of 625 divided by 100 into 16 is equals to question mark understood or not right so because 6.25 can be written as 625 by 100 37.5 375 by 10 so now we can cancel it on 5 table so this becomes 2 times cancel it on 5 table 75s are 35 25 75 year similarly cancel it on 5 table or else cancel it on 4 table 4 4s are 16 25 times another 25 times here so again cancel it on 2 table 4 times so 75 into 4 minus of 25 into 4 equal to question mark so 75 into 4 28 20 300 so this will be 300 so this will be 100 is equals to question mark so question mark is equals to 200 right which is the answer for the question easy so uh, do not find what is 37.5 percentage of 800 complete waste of time so try to cancel percentage to zero directly and then we have 0.5 remove the decimal point divided by 10 and then cancel it you can if you remove the decimal point and percentage value surely you can cancel most of the numbers that's what i did here right so finally we got question mark is equals to 200 answer for question number 82 so s 82nd question next question so 6 square into 5 square so this will be 36 and this will be 25 is equals to 545 minus of 324 plus question mark right so 36 into 25 36 into 20 300 700 and 26 30 300 so 600 300 900 so this will be 900 545 324 so this will be 1 2 221 right so is equal to 221 plus question mark so question mark is equals to 900 minus of 221 question mark is equal to 679 1 10 times 9 so this will be uh, 9 times here 927 so this will be uh, 8 a2 will be 6 so question mark is equals to 679 that's it right not huge calculation you should not make any mistake on this subtraction addition right so answer for question number 83 yes option number c 679 sorry i didn't uh, give any options here right only the answer what i'm saying but uh, in case if i am editing any pdf file there i will give you the options right but answer is question mark is equals to 679 so next question is yes this is like not addition it is a multiplication okay so okay so let me solve this question so this will be see we need to find the answer in terms of 0 0.2 something right 2 power something and uh, 2 power something we need to find what is the answer of 2 power something but all the values are around 0 0.8 or 0 0.2 something so what you can do is a power m divided by a power n you have to subtract this so 1.5 uh, 0 0.5 will be 1 right so this will be a 0 0.8 2.5 into 0 0.8 1.5 minus 0 0.5 will be 1 so this will be 0 0.8 2.5 plus 1 will be 3.5 here so divided by 0 0.2 power 3.5 is equals to 2 power question mark so convert into 0 0.8 converted into 0 0.2 so 2 cube will be 8 so 0 0.2 the whole cube into 3.5 so divided by 0 0.2 power 3.5 is equals to 2 power question mark so this will be 5 threes are 15 1 10.5 so this will be 10.5 0 0.2 power 10.5 divided by 0 0.2 power 3.5 is equals to 2 power question mark so this will be like 10.5 minus 3.5 so 10.5 minus 3.5 will be 7 so question mark is equals to 7 right. because here it will be 2 by 10 2 by 10 so we can cancel both the numbers but we are getting in terms of 0 0.2 
I'm sorry actually I am getting answer as question mark is equals to 7 but but I have a little bit of confusion that okay so uh, let me uh, cross check the question once again okay so after the class ended I will be like a cross check with the question why because uh, here it is whether 0 0.2 the old power question mark or it is 2 power question mark I don't know exactly but the answer that we got is question mark is equal to 7 here also they have given question mark is equal to 7 is the answer but I have a doubt here because we got an answer in 0 0.2 something but the uh, actual answer what they are asking is 2 power something so I have a little bit of confusion here okay so answer for question number 84 is 7 let me keep like that and I will just cross check once while uploading the PDF file on the uh, test series there I will change make changes right so question number 84 this will be the answer <coughs> so 625 will be 25 529 will be 23 is equals to square root of question mark so this will be 2 square root of question mark is equals to 2 so question mark is equals to 2 square so which is 4 easy question so answer for question number 85 where question mark is equals to 4 right so next question percentage based question so 40 percentage so 40 percentage can be written as 40 by 100 into 325 so plus 86 is equals to question mark percentage so x divided by 100 into 270 so now cancel all the zero parts so 0 0 here similarly we can cancel 0 0 here so now we can cancel it on 5 table so which becomes 2 times cancel it on 5 table 6 5s are 30 remaining will be to 65 cancel it 2 times 130 plus 86 is equals to into 27 so 130 plus 86 6 8 9 10 11 1 2 16 0 is equals to 27x so x is equals to 2160 divided by 27 so x is equals to uh, 216 by 27 27 into 7 49 4 14 189 27 into 8 56 5 16 21 right so 8 times 80 so x is equal to 80 when understood so answer for question number 86 where x is equal to 8 easy question so only the cancellation part is important here right so question number 87 let me check the answer sorry for two questions i didn't check it so s80 s4 okay so next question 40 so this will be 480 plus 520 divided by 5 is equals to question mark square so 0 1 divided by 5 question mark square so question mark square is equals to 200 so question mark is equal to square root of 200 so question mark is equals to so we can further simplify it because uh, we know right 200 will be 100 into 2 so 100 into 2 will be 200 square root of 100 will be 10 so question mark is equals to 10 root 2 so based upon the options right either they can stop like this answer will be square root of 200 or else they will write like this look at the option yes option number c we have 10 root 2 so we can say that answer for the question will be 10 root 2 right easy case so uh, learn how to simplify these kinds of number also in terms of square root some somewhere you can able to find the 345 square root so you have to reduce it so that's the major thing here in most of the simplification question that is important so answer for question number 87 where question mark is equals to 10 root 2 so next question 1024 into 40 division 448 is equals to uh, division square okay so they have asked to convert into addition right it's not division it is addition so 1024 so 1024 will be 32 right because this will be 2 25 s yes, 32 
so 32 into 40 so plus 448 is equals to question mark cube so 0 4 2 are 8 1 2 8 0 plus 448 so 8 12 1 4 5 6 7 1 1 7 2 8 so question mark cube is equal to 1 7 2 8 so question mark is equal to cube root of 1 7 2 8 will be 12 that's it right 12 into 12 144 144 into 12 will be 1728 I hope uh, we have biotted all these numbers right till 20 cube so those cases we have biotted already so answer for this question number 88 where question mark is equals to 12 yes so next question so 25 minus 12 will be 13 plus 155 plus 1 so 13 plus 156 6 plus 3 9 169 easy question right so question mark is equals to 13 very simple and easy so answer for question number 89 where question mark is equals to 30 so next question is 325 so 325 minus of 12 square 144 plus 75 plus 68 is equals to question mark square right so 144 75 so 144 75 will be minus 69 plus 68 325 so 325 minus of minus 69 plus 68 will be minus 1 question mark square so 324 is equals to question mark square so square root of 324 will be 18 right so answer for this question is 18 we don't use any shortcut to solve that's it right no other way this is the only way that you can solve this question so next question is question number yes answer will be 90 okay correct so question number 91 0.64 so we have to find the answer in terms of 0 0.4 so let me convert all the numbers like 0 0.064 0 0.16 256 all the numbers in terms of 0 0.4 so this can be written as 0 0.4 the whole cube so division 4 square right 0 0.4 2 power 3 multiplication 0 0.4 power 4 is equals to 0 0.4 power question mark plus 1 so this will be 0 0.4 power 3 division 0 0.4 power 6 into 0 0.4 power 4 as equals to 0 0.4 power question mark plus 1. So a power m division a power m will be subtraction. So 3 minus 3 minus 6 will be minus 3. So 0 0.4 minus 3 into 0 0.4 power 4 is equals to 0 0.4 power question mark plus 1. So this will be 1, right? So 1 is equals to question mark plus 1. So when you bring this 1 towards left hand side, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So question mark is equals to 0, right? So answer for question number 91, where question mark is equals to 0. Yes, question mark is equals to 0 is correct. Which is answer for question number 91. Easy. So next question. So 6 times 8 8 7 are 56 7 plus 17 plus 132 divided by Yes. So it is. It is not. We. It is not an uh, exact number to divisible. Six twenty eight divided by sixteen. We are getting something in terms of decimal value thirty nine point two five. Right. So now sixteen into forty 
2 right so 4 102 plus 132 divided by 39.25 minus of 26.25 will be 13 so 234 divided by 113 is 13 so remaining will be 10 104 83 is 24 18 that's it so question mark is equals to 18 so little bit difficult question because uh, year 628 divided by 16 we don't have any other option right even when you reduce into two tables somewhere we have to divide no other way so that's the reason i have directly divide the number so finally we got 39 something so what i did is uh, the final number 5 it is easy to find 2 is easy to find only this uh, 39 and 38 I have a doubt so I just divide directly I divided and find the answer so 39.25 minus 26.25 resultant will be 13 and uh, after dividing answer will be 18 got it so which is answer for question number 92 yes so now question number 93 so 27 again I think here also uh, we will Yes, here also we will get in terms of decimal point something. Okay, let me divide. No other way. So, 27 into 1 by 5 into x into 1 by 15 is equals to 5.4. So, 54 by 10, right? So, into 1 by 6 plus 0 0.3. So, we have square root here. So, 9, 6 are 54, which is 0 0.9. So, this can be written as we can cancel it on 3 table 5 3's are 15 right so cancel it on 3 table 9 3's are 27 so this will be 9x divided by 25 so everything in terms of square root is equals to so 0 this 9 by 10 will be 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3 will be 1.2 right so your square root of 9 by 25 square root of 9 will be 3 25 will be 5 so 3 by 5 square root of x is equals to 1.2 so square root of x will be 12 by 10 into 5 by 3 so this becomes 2 times 3 2s are 6 6 2s are 12 so x is equals to 2 square so x is equals to 4 so friends most important question right so this is like most important because only if you have more number of practice you can able to solve this question understood or not so initially what i did is instead of converting into a decimal point something i have written 27 division 5 as 27 into 1 by 5 and then cancel it on 5 table so sorry consider it on 3 table this becomes 9 by 25 so square root of 9 will be 3 square root of 25 will be 5 only the x term we can't able to take a square root so keep it as it is square root of x so 3 by 5 is equal to 1.4 converted 1.2 into removing the decimal point 12 by 10 so uh, when you bring 3.3 by 5 towards right hand side 5 by 3 so after cancellation the question is easy we got the answer is 4 so next question is 4 not 5 division 80 divided by multiplication 45 not a perfect square right all the numbers are not a perfect square okay what i can do is this 45 so 45 can be written as 9 into 5 will be 45 yes so square root of 9 into 5 and the square root of 9 will be 3 so 45 can be written as 3 root 5 understood or not right so how i write this so this 45 friends i have taken as 9 into 5 9 5 is 45 and square root of 9 will be 3 so i have i've written square root of 9 as 3 and keep that square root of 5 as it is so 45 can be written as 3 square root of 5 so similarly 80 so 80 can be written as Sixteen into five is sixteen into five is eighty. Understood or not? So eighty can be written as sixteen into five, and square root of sixteen will be four. So four root five. So this can be written as four uh, root of five, right? So minus of four not five.
Yes, 41 into 5, 4, 5, 20, 2, not 5. 81. So, 81 into 5, right? So, 4, not 5 can be written as square root of 81 into 5. 81 will be 9. So, 9 root 5. Understood or not? So, 9 root 5. That's it. So, 4, not 5, I have written as 9 root 5. 80 written as 4 root 5, 45, 3 root 5. Now it is easy because 9 root 5 minus 4 root 5 will be 5 root 5. So 5 root 5 into 3 root 5 is equal to question mark. So 5 into 3 will be 15. Square root of 5 into square root of 5 will be 5. So 15 into 5 will be 75. So question mark is equals to 75. That's it. Right. So, this will be the answer for question number 94. Easy question. So, that's what in three question back i think so three or four question back i have told it in in case of square root of 200 you should know how to split the numbers that is most important in the simplification part so this will be the answer for question number 94 yes so next question is question number 95 so 16 plus 5x divided by 24 so divided by, you can take 6 outside here because here also 6 and here also 6. So 143 minus of 138 is equals to uh, 1.45. So 3843. So 2 and this will be 530. So 16 plus 5x divided by 24 is equals to 6 into 5 is equals to 1.45 which is 30. So, 5x by 24 is equals to 1.45 into 30. So, 1 to 15, 1, 12, 13, 1, 3, 1, 4. So, 4.35 into 10, 43.5. So, 43.5 minus of 16. Okay, so 5x by 24, 27.5. So 5x is equals to 27.5 into 24 divided by 5. So we can directly divide this. So 5 5 is a 25.5. So x is equal to 24 into 5.5, which is 24 into 55. 24 into 55, 22, 10, 20, 30, 32, 3, 5, 2s are 10, 13, 132. Yes, answer is 132. Right? Uh, while solving, I just have a doubt because uh, we are getting in some terms of a decimal point and I don't know whether I get the exact answer or not. Yes, we are getting the exact answer. Somewhere I uh, struggle to solve this area because... Uh, 1.45 into 30 so it is like 43.5 and we have to subtract with 16 so little bit doubt here because whether I have multiplied anything wrongly but it's correct right 43 minus 16 will be 27.5 and then we have to multiply into 24 by 5 so divide 27.5 which is 5.5 so 5.5 into 24 resultant will be 132 so answer for question number 95 option A 132 right so next question is yes so next question okay. so 144 power it's it's 1 by 2 1 by 2 is nothing square root 1 by 3 will be cube root that's it so 144 will be 1 by 12 plus 64 64 will be 4 that is 1 by 4 right so into 27 is equals to question mark so we can take lcm 12 1 plus 3 into 27 is equals to question mark so 4 by 12 right into 27 is equals to question mark so this becomes 3 times 9 times so question mark is equals to 9 easy question just see option we have question mark is equal to 9 very easy so next question is 97th question so this will be 16 right square root of 256 will be 16 so now 6 and 16 cancel it on 2 table so this will be 3 this will be 8 so 8x 
divided by 3 so plus 26 is equals to uh, 90 so 8x by 3 is equals to 90 minus 26 will be 64 so x is equal to 64 into 3 divided by 8 8 eights are 64 so x is equal to 24 so answer for this question will be x is equal to 24 Yes, next question. 8 3 is at 24. So 24 plus 3 will be 27. So 27 by 8. So into 36 plus 40 by 9. So division convert into multiplication reciprocal of the number 21, 25 by 7. So when you reciprocal it, 7 by 25. So minus of 15, 18 by 5 is equals to question mark. So this becomes 5 times 5 year. 1 9 is 9, 9 3 is 27. So 7 into 3 will be 21 by 5 minus of 18 by 5 equal to question mark. So this will be 3 by 5. So 3 by 5 is equals to question mark. That's it. So answer for the question where question mark is equals to 3 by 5. Yes, answer will be 3 by 5. Next question is question number 99. So 3 power 4, right? So division. So here you have 1. So 3 power 3 here. So plus 12 square. 12 into 12 divided by 4 into 2 will be 8 is equals to question mark. So cancel it on 4 table here. So this becomes 4 3s are 12. This becomes 4 2s are 8. Again cancel it. 6 2s are 12. So 3 power 4 division 3 power 3. You have to subtract it only 3. So 3 plus 18 is equal to question mark so question mark is equals to 21 that's it and so for 99 this question mark is equals to 21 the last question so 5 by 9 so plus 8 by 5 plus 2 by 5 x is equals to 621 so take LCM as 45 here this will be 10 by 5. I think we can add both, right? When you add both, this will be 5 by 9. So plus 5 and 5 will be a base common. So 10 by 5. So 10 by 5 will be 2 times here. That's it, right? So x is equal to 621. So 5 plus 9 into 2 will be 18. Divided by 9, x is equals to 621. So 18 plus 5 will be 23. So 23x divided by 9 is equals to 621. So x is equal to 621 into 9 divided by 23. So this becomes 27 times 27, 9, 63, 6, 18, 24, 243. Yes, answer will be 243. So that's it friends. So finally, we have solved 100 simplification question right so in this 100 simplification question inside this pdf file we have learned all the different cases so we have learned a power m a power n right square root cube root yes there are so so many questions that we solved based on square root shortcut cube root shortcut percentage shortcut mixed fraction mixed fraction shortcuts Right, how to in some cases we split the mixed fraction in some cases we, we didn't sp split the mixed fraction we multiplied the number right so percentage where to cancel where you should not cancel what mass rule most important the brackets are always plays a major role first finish the bracket and then the remaining part right so these cases of questions we have solved here and then a formula based only two question we have solved that is based on formula based like a plus b the whole square a cube minus b cube those cases the, the, in 10 question i think so before uh, 10 question i have solved those kind of cases like a square plus a b 2 a b plus b square so the formula will be a plus b the whole square logic we have used there so those cases and uh, all model simplification i think i have solved here if you are preparing for bank exams particularly for the bank exams 
definitely i hope this video will be useful and similarly i will be posting all the quantitative aptitude topics each topic 100 question so make sure to watch and to learn the complete files that is by using this pdf file try to completely solve view to solve 100 question only then it will come to practice just by watching the video it is completely waste of time so friends thank you so much for watching this video see you on the next target 100 session on quantitative aptitude so friends thank you so much for watching it bye